um, Dr. Eva Jagger, physician and endocrinologist. In my clinic, I see a lot of thyroid patients, and mo the majority of my patients are patients with diabetes. Today, uh, I'm again partnering with Ponea to just discuss the importance of digital health. I think Kenya is ready, and actually has been ready, uh, uh, to, uh, to, t t uh, to digitize its health. Why do I say so? When you think about uh, the mobile apps and mo uh, the mobile uh, aptic, uh, mobile phone aptic in this country, we are one of the top countries in, in this uh, continent that where our population uses mobile phones. And those mobile phones now have come up with all the various uh, performances. And uh, in, on these uh, mobiles, people have been able to uh, uh, download and uh, apps that are health related. So when they, we, uh, you talk about whether we are ready, it's a matter of just now informing people and empowering our people our patients and our health providers to be able to uh, communicate their patients through these digital platforms so that one, it makes the uh, health delivery much easier, more efficient, and actually I think it is cost effective. We reduce the cost for the patients. So I think we are at, at that time. And, and we can't be left behind by the rest of the world. Most of the other parts of the world we have telemedicine is, is just uh, part and parcel of the way you deliver health. So why should we be left behind? I think we are ready and we should move on and it's very, very uh, important. I think for every, every form of treatment, you see there are always laws and regulations in the way uh, 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 the a country performs its, uh, or delivers its mandates. And one of them in health, they, those still exist. So you need to have policy that are regulated because health is a regulated also sector. You need to have uh, policies that are already gazetted or adopted and the policymakers need to know about it so that they, we, people know what is it that, what does digital health mean? How is it delivered? How is it regulated? One, because it can be also be abused and people can, even health professionals, researchers, scientists, all these people can take advantage of patients if these things are not regulated. And that's more, the more reason why we need to know about, and these are the gaps that are, uh, which are of course being addressed. Because when you talk about uh, like the, the Data Protecting, uh, Protection Act in Kenya, this is going to go a long way also to protect uh, people who are handling the uh, data through the digital platforms. Because we think at my clinic, I have so many patients. If I'm, if I'm taking the, the, the information through maybe the mobile app, <clears throat> the patients do their sugars at home, send the information to my, uh, my, my, uh, my, my uh, computer, who will stop me from using that to, to, do, to, uh, to do research, maybe even uh, publish? If we don't have regulations whereby you cannot use this data without consent of the patient, because the patient is really the main owner and the main holder should be the, the data owner. And the, uh, you, you can be a holder or a coach for them, but you as the provider should not be the owner of that data. And the government should be able to separate those two and know how those two intertwine and how they can be protected. So these are the gaps that I think lady the Minister of Health is addressing, because I know there, are, there have been a lot of uh, workshops uh, in, uh, relating to this. Uh, I would like first to thank all of you, the, uh, the Ponea team, and also thank anybody who is listening to this, wherever you are, uh, whether you are patient or not, uh, to take this information, make yourself empowered to learn about the, this condition. Should you think that you have something in regard to this, it's important to, you can go on Ponea platforms, there's a uh, an app for patients, you can get the information where you can get more uh, guided uh, as to where to book to health professionals that deal with this. We have many the specialists, uh, endocrinologists, both for adults and for children as well. And we also have physicians who really also will be able to guide you, in, investigate you, and uh, treat you or refer you to the correct uh, uh, specialists.